this is Linux Mint 18.1 as we can see up here it's running on a Mint Box Mini which is a little tiny computer about as big as your pocket and you can see there's some of its processor specs graphic specs there uh, by default this this is the first version of the Mint Box Mini come out with 4 gigs of RAM but I've changed it out to 8 and I've given it one, 1 gigabyte to dedicate it to the graphics and the hard drive or the little uh, MSATA drive inside is 64 gigs by default but mine's out to 120 I think I've changed it up to there's the resource usage at the moment I'm just going to go through a few uh, Compu's tweaks that I've done here. Um, this top left hand, sorry, the top right hand corner I've enabled for this effect, which is called cover flow or cover. So you run the mouse up into that corner to activate it, and then you just roll the mouse wheel one way or the other, like that. Or you can use the left and right arrows on the keyboard. That's cover flow also got the uh, the ring switcher so that's all the apps that are running there at the moment rotating around or we can rotate them in the other direction like that we can also enable the mouse selection as well so while they're rotating uh, if I release the keyboard so that's alt super tab alt and super held down and then tab to to move one app at a time and if I select the browser with the mouse up there it'll just bring the browser straight up so pretty handy for having a quick look at um, what uh, if I can get my fingers to work properly here what's running on your system and where it is and whatever uh, the reason the calculator is showing up like that is because it was minimized but now that it's up on the screen we should see the full icon of it which we do there it is there so if we minimize that again and now we get that effect so that's just telling you that the applications running but it's minimized we've also got uh, expo or expose mode which I've enabled in the top left hand corner like that and as you can see there's my one two three four desktops and I can just I can drag windows around if I want to, move them from one to the other or halfway across whatever I want to do and just click on the one that I want to come up we roll around here a bit we should see there's that one that's on the, the corner so it's nicely bent so that's the cube obviously we've got activated there and you can see I've got all the windows standing out from the face the green edge means that that's the active window or the last active window well, it's currently active I suppose and the red ones are just simply inactive uh, so the cube expo cover or cover flow and if we just come well, that window there will do we'll start the control center so Comp is, is installed on your Linux Mint system, uh, not on uh, Cinnamon, and won't be in KDE either I guess, but in, in Mate, which this one is. Show you the menu, there's the Mate menu. And I think also in XFCE. Uh, so there, there it is, there's the Settings Manager. All you need to do is click on Desktop Settings, this little window pops up. Go to Windows. By default it'll be on I think Marco and compositing. Just change it to Compiz. Your screen will probably flicker. You can get straight into the settings of Compiz by clicking this button here. Or through your menu. And we can just close out of there. So uh, there it is also in the um, control center. Just start there. And then you can activate your cube activate the ring switcher, the shift switcher which gives you your cover flow so I go to shift mode, see there it's in cover if I change it to flip 
Now when I run up into that corner I get get this different effect. I quite like this one, so I'm gonna put it back there. So obviously there's a ton of settings you can change in there. And the reason I'm showing this on my little mint box is because a lot of people complain that Compus uses too many resources and whatever, but as you can see this little tiny machine, I've got a few other older computers too. I run it on all of them where I can, depending on systems I'm running. And uh, yeah, even this little uh, tiny little computer that is running on here obviously runs it all pretty good without without any major issues. I'll show you the, you might have noticed the icons look a bit different. So if we go into here, we go to icons, that's the icon theme I'm running, artist icons. So there you can see they look a little bit uh, different up there and the, the menu and whatever, not all of them. The common thing with a lot of these themes is they don't uh, work universally all the time. Sometimes some of these have already changed changed out a little bit because they didn't come through. I've had to manually adjust the odd icon here and there. But, uh, so that's the the icons. The borders that you see here is Windows 10 Dark and the controls is Pearl Black Mate. That gives us a little bit of darkness in the, in the windows and these uh, blue bars whether you like them or not. So that's a bit of a look around there and of course I've got uh, Cairo Dock running down the bottom here. Pretty pretty snazzy little thing. And you can see the comp is effects there as I minimize and restore and whatever all the windows you get a a different effect. It also takes you to the uh, the screen that the app's running on. So in this case because I've got the the four, if we go to this one here, which there's nothing running on it, and click on that one, it'll take us to that desktop and show us the app. You see, you get a different effect each time it minimizes and whatever there. So, plenty of uh, cool eye, eye candy there to play with you if you like that sort of thing, which obviously I do. So. That's a bit of a look at Linux Mint 18.1 with Compus enabled and tweaked and Cairo Dock installed and tweaked up as well with some different theming and whatever. Because as you know, Linux Mint, as good as it is, it is pretty grey and green and bland when you take it out of the box. So it's pretty easy. Most of the tools are sort of there. Tweak it out a bit. Hope you have as much fun as I did.